everybody! Welcome to Las Nevadas National Park in Colombia! We're at 5,100 meters right now and it's probably the highest elevation that Robin and I have ever been in our lives. Um, we've just parked the truck and hiked up about um, 400 meters. Uh, we can feel the elevation. We've got a bit of a headache. Um, it's a little bit hard to breathe. We have to take it really slow up the hill and we're just a little wary. Um, we've found some snow, yay! Tropical snow. Uh, it's a little wet, it's not good for skiing. It's not Canadian snow, but we found snow nonetheless. Um, it's absolutely beautiful here. We, uh, we came into the park. We're planning on staying maybe a couple of nights, maybe more. It's like a moonscape here. Uh, this volcano erupted in, I think, 85, and it's just volcanic rock, and we're way above the tree line. It's beautiful. The temperature right now uh, at 5,100 meters is about four or five degrees, and it's pretty much midday. It's, well, it's two o'clock in the afternoon. We spoke to the guys down at the shelter and they said we can expect it to get to minus 12 tonight. So, ah! Right now we're gonna hike back down the mountain, get back in the truck and we're gonna continue further along the road. There's a long road that goes through the park. Well, it's about 35, 45 kilometers. And um, about 10 kilometers down the road is a big visitor center with, I think it's kind of like a fancy hotel and restaurant. So we're going to head further down the road, enjoy the view along the way, and um, tonight we're probably either going to camp at the visitor center or we're going to continue on and there's apparently a beautiful lake at the end of the road. So we'll probably get there either today or tomorrow, we're not too concerned. Okay, it's breakfast time at Camp New Cruiser and Robin's been up since, well he's been up for longer than me and he's been doing something in the kitchen. Looks like we got pineapple and little scones there and he's got something fancy in the frying pan over there. Robin, what do you have for breakfast? What's for breakfast? Eggs, with buns and cheese. Eggs with buns and cheese, yum. <laughs> this is how we shower in the pot, out of a pot. We still got a stove to warm it up. <laughs> so we had a really, really good sleep last night. It was so peaceful, there was no wind, no rain. We're camping next to a little bubbling creek and uh, to top it all off there was a full moon. It was just spectacular once again. Hi, we're still in uh, Las Nevadas National Park. Um, we decided to take a walk today and it's about eight kilometers to the nearest uh, lake that we're trying to head to. So I'm just going to little down. It's been pretty good weather so far. Um, the clouds are coming in, so we're hoping it's not going to rain on us. Um, but last night was actually really pleasant. We camped and got down to probably about two, two degrees. So pretty warm by Canadian standards. So yesterday when we hiked down from the volcano, we got back into the truck and started it up and it was not a very happy truck at all. Uh, it was very difficult to start and it was blowing tons of blue and white smoke out of the exhaust. So we, uh, we continued driving. It's still blowing smoke now and um, we're hoping that it's due to the high elevation that we were at, 4,900 meters, and hopefully it's not some other major problem. So potentially related to our um, 
blowing blue and white smoke out of the exhaust is the fact that we've noticed our fuel gauge going down very quickly and um, we're, we're basically burning fuel probably four times faster than we usually do and uh, once again we're hoping this is related to the elevation but we have enough fuel to get out of the park so everything's good we left the campground this morning and we've driven about 17 kilometers today so far uh, within the park and for the most part the road has been pretty good um, it's definitely four-wheel drive required but it's been um, you know windy lots of ups and downs fairly narrow uh, quite a few drop-offs but uh, for the most part it's been it's been really beautiful the last two kilometers um, have changed fairly dramatically um, it's a lot more uh, difficult going lots of rock lots of uh, lots of four-wheeling and a uh, little bit of mud not too much Being at such a high elevation, there's really unique uh, plant species up here. Unfortunately, I can't name any of them, but um, lots of wildflowers, really beautiful blues, purples, uh, pinks, yellows, um, lots of grasses, low shrubs, and um, in, the, in the valleys, there's lots of moist areas, little ponds and wetlands from, uh, from the rain and from runoff from the snow. We've also seen a lot of birds up here and um, there's lots of rock formations on the hillsides here and up near the volcano um, lots of habitat for raptors I think. Apparently the Andean condor lives up here as well. Unfortunately we didn't get to see it. So if you look just behind me you can see the fog is rolling in quite quickly. So we're gonna head out of here. Before the rain hits, and uh, we'll